And so today we're going to talk about a topic a little bit more complicated than normal. We're going to talk about indoctrinated subscribers. How do you send emails, email broadcast to subscribers that have been indoctrinated but not to the new subscribers? How do you do that? How do you manage that? And what is indoctrination? What are email subscribers? What are email broadcasts? We're going to talk about that too, but first this. So the real question is this, what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So you probably already know this, you need to be building a list, an email list and in your email list you're going to be sending out emails right you should be sending probably daily emails you could you could say I don't want to send daily I want to send weekly whatever it's really up to you uh different mark different marketers different leaders say different things me personally it's a daily thing until I, until I try to send emails daily because that's what I've been taught but like I said that's not the point here what we're going to be talking about is indoctrination indoctrinating what is what does that mean and before we get into that if you're listening to the audio of this or maybe watching the shorter version you should be going to cis274.jsgagnon.com to go check out the longer video the full video the blog post go check that out right there right cis274.jsgagnon.com all right so let's get to it so first of all let's explain a few things so when you're building a business online one of the things that you need to do is you need to have an audience right you need to have people that are interested in what you're selling what you're trying to you know what you're peddling if you will you have to have people that are interested in that and that's why they talk about you know figuring out your audience figuring out what your niche is deciding on who your avatar is who your audience you know uh, particularities are what they are all these things take some decisions on your part right but once you know once you're starting to build your list once you're starting to grow your uh, email list you are going to want to start sending broadcast emails but should you send broadcast emails right away and you know when I started <coughs> I did I would just send broadcast to everybody it didn't really matter because I figured you know what I'm learning it anyways should I care well maybe uh, but in the beginning you know you're learning so much stuff maybe it's okay but once you get to the point where it's where you want to do it better you got to figure out what you need to do to do it better so and that's what we're going to talk about today first of all what are email lists if you don't know what that is uh, well it's a basically you've got a, a platform where you can store emails people register their names and emails in a form <laughs> which can be a bunch of different ways we're not talking going to talk necessarily about that too much but once they're on your once they fill out that form they become part of your email list right so what do you do with an email list well you send emails right there's different kinds of emails you can send you can send um, initial follow-up emails you can set up campaigns you can send broadcast emails so what are all those so let's go and share my screen and show you right here <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry about that I'll show you right here what the what does that look like so the tool I use is called Aweber right so I use Aweber Aweber is a is a is one of the tools you can actually get a free account Aweber um just go to aweber.jsgagnon.com or jean serge Gagnon. let me just put the link up here for you so Aweber just go to aweber.jeansergegagnon.com to go check out the um the free plan right you can go there you can subscribe for a free account and then as your list grows I think the subscription is uh 500 or something the free account I mean you can have a certain number of subscribers but and that's definitely worth doing and when you get to where you have your list is bigger well you're making money probably so well hopefully right <laughs> so you know it's okay to have a bit of a, a charge for that right so that's the that's Aweber so what do you do with Aweber you build your list right there's different like, like I said there's a whole bunch of different you can create sign up forms right in here create landing pages right in here and then you can share that across platforms put them you can even have say for example which I probably should do I haven't done but you could have just a basic landing page to subscribe to a list 
and then you can put that as your link in your ig instagram profile right you can have just that one link right you could do that that would be one way to do it right and the thing is that by doing that you build your list right okay so uh I was talking about uh, so first of all you got to have a list right secondly you want to send follow-ups emails subscribe you know indoctrination is is it means sending out emails so that people get to know you right so when you're first when they first get on your list they're getting on lists because they want whatever it is that you had to offer them right so for me uh let me show you actually I have on my blog a couple of different uh sign up options right so on my blog I've got the 12 steps to your critical success right if you go in my blog and you click on this it opens up a uh, capture page right this is a capture page that the person would fill in and if you're interested in this go right ahead and see how it all works you put your email in here and your name there well, I guess it should maybe I should reverse those yeah that's kind of weird I never noticed that <laughs> I should reverse those but anyways and then you get this book this free ebook that I'm offering people right so when you enter your name and email you're going to receive this now how does that work uh actually you know what let's yeah let's cover that a little bit so first let's go to that list because I have a whole bunch of lists uh it's the did you, did you, which one is it so tw actually it's at the top right here okay 12 step uh to your online success so that's the list so the way the list works is that you have a uh, welcome right so well it depends on how you do it it's kind of interesting that I have sent this to 40 people and only 15 people opened it right that's kind of crazy because because that means that people are you know putting their email in there but they're not even opening up the free book right why aren't they opening up the free book there must be something wrong with my with my my uh, my email or my list or something but anyways the point is that when they enter their name and email in here they get whatever you have configured here and maybe it's because I have because in in Aweber you can have a follow-up series um <clears throat> and this was sent I'm not sure if this is your follow-up series is being managed by campaigns okay yeah so in the beginning you can create your follow-up series which basically emails you, you set up as emails to send to your list when they join your list right so you can have one two three five it doesn't really matter you can have 10 emails all sent in a sequence and if I uh, I guess I let me show you on another list I have probably um <clears throat> my mastermind one maybe I'm just wondering what I have this is just a welcome that's not the right one uh, do I have maybe this one nope there's no message I uh, 20k Facebook fans that doesn't have any messages either uh, of course talk did that have a list that didn't have messages I'm just looking to see what it looks like to show you what it looks like when you just create a, a basic follow-up series uh, maybe this one <clears throat> yeah well this one only has one but I wish I had more than one let's see if I can find one that has more than one um getting their number immediate yes I don't know if some of these are yeah this is just the ebook mm, I wish I had the uh, success tips to your inbox maybe ah there you go okay so this one here <clears throat> okay perfect so this is a great example because this one here is a one I did a long time ago and basically uh you put these emails in a sequence right so I had this success tip number one number two number three number four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right so I was sending these emails to people that subscribe to my list and as you can see the numbers right here right 48 percent 23 percent 27 17 29 as you can see not everybody opens up the emails right it's not that great uh, but it's still pretty good 16 14 is still better than the 0.5 that I get sometimes depending on what I'm sending out right and the thing is that <clears throat> so that's your follow-up series so a follow-up series is basically you just set a whole bunch of you set up emails and then they get sent and that becomes 
kind of an indoctrination and indoctrination is more about getting people to know you getting people to know you so I have that into my introduction but I moved it to a campaign that's why I didn't want to show you this one uh actually it's not in the campaign oh, okay that's interesting I didn't realize that oh. okay well this one here is also set up as just follow-up series and basically I have three emails I send out to my to people who join my list I subscribe people to this automatically whenever they uh, if I go into where is that in here list automation you can actually say I want people to be subscribed to introduction when they subscribe to these other lists well USI tech whatever that's that's long gone uh, but <clears throat> you know if they subscribe to this they automatically get subscribed to my introduction if they subscribe to my course doc they subscribe to my simple online strategies my jean Serge mastermind so then automatically if they subscribe to other lists they get subscribed to this other list and get these introduction now that's not actually that's not the best way to do it I've been I've since then I've learned other ways and the way I'm doing it now is I'm using campaigns uh and when I talk about so how do you okay so there's the broadcast emails that I want to send to people who have been indoctrinated what does that mean <clears throat> that means that I send like when I schedule a broadcast right let's just actually go and schedule a broadcast to show you what I'm talking about so if I go to my where is the where do I put that simple online strategies I believe it is and my broadcasts I scheduled did I not send it to the right place okay well let's just schedule so the last one that's sent 267 okay so I'm going to schedule 268 let's go find 268 in my my files 268 so 268 was uh that makes no sense I I know I sent out more e what's the last email I sent the last one I sent was 267 it is right whoa did I mess up my I guess I messed up my emails here okay well 268 is the one I'm going to put together right now so 268 so I'm just creating the email right now right so I'm just going to create this email and then I'll show you what I mean by the broadcast to only to people who have been indoctrinated and I'm going to show you what I mean by that so over here I uh, add the image <coughs> 268 Is it 268 what happened here 268 right yes 268 and it'll be this one the gift play this one here and I'm just going to go get the text for the rest while it's uploading so that'll be the um I didn't realize I was so behind in my emails for the paragraph right there <coughs> okay so I'm just creating the email for now programmer needs two m's doesn't it so I got a typo in my <coughs> sorry about my throat I always have seems like some but that's only because I don't exercise and sleep enough there's all sorts of reasons right <coughs> okay so that's the email is there any other links in here no let's not worry about it so save and exit okay so now what I do is I schedule this as a broadcast right 
but I don't want to send it to everybody so what I do here is I go schedule a broadcast I'm actually going to send this out to I'm going to put that on here put that over here and then I also this is where I do it this is what I do I go and I include all my lists but by these segment I say Seinfeld tag now me what I do is I apply a sign a tag I just call it Seinfeld because of um Russell Brunson and how he talks about uh soap opera sequences and then Seinfeld emails right I just call it a Seinfeld tag because of that but basically I I apply a sign the tag after they've gone through my indoctrination sequence so depending on the list it could be two emails five emails ten emails right once they've gone through the indoctrination they get this tag applied to them so that whenever I, I broadcast and I specify that tag <clears throat> that means it's just going to send to people who have that tag so you got to apply that tag I'm going to show you how to do that in a second so I'm just going to say um so this is messed up because it should have been yesterday so I'm just going to send I'm actually going to send it immediately <clears throat> because this one here is um, actually not right so let's go I also do this open and click webinar no 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 not click webinar click video there you go okay so those are uh things I that apply tags to people whenever they do these uh, these events okay so I'm going to send this now and I'm going to schedule the next one for well this afternoon because it should have been to this morning so let's just do that right now because I kind of messed up right so I'm going to do uh 2 269 uh 269 okay 269 is supposed to supposed to have been this morning wow hey I didn't realize I was that behind because I usually do them a week ahead of time right so that's this here <clears throat> another image right here I'm going to get this 269 next one right here uh, I'll just go the <clears throat> so what I want is the da, 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 where is it this one here there we go okay oh and then get the text while that's happening down here there we go another paragraph right there whoa what happened there I don't know what happened here I messed up because I did a paste on it or something image gallery let's use the one I just did this one no oh delete this is what happens when you're trying to do something right this here goes down here okay let's do the image I guess I'll have to upload it again this one here Is that the right one am I uploading the right one yes perfect okay so <clears throat> so sorry I, I I'm gonna show you I promise I promise I will show you but I just gotta fix this right now I'm uh, behind and I'm gonna do this over here there we go get the link this thing from here this is going to be the link and so is the image there we go okay so I'm going to save and exit now this one here we're going to schedule for like I don't know two this afternoon or something right <clears throat> and it'll be the same thing I, I send it off to my ask Sean Serge right here I post on my Twitter and then I include all this but just the Seinfeld tag and then this will be sent today at 3 let's say p.m Atlantic Eastern time <clears throat> okay and I also want to do open and then click video 
there we go okay so now we have my and now I'm going to catch up uh, now the next one would be for tomorrow which will be last week's last week's Friday one so 270 oops <clears throat> and 270 was this number 270 the fleets right remember the fleets from Twitter what are fleets <clears throat> Put an image right there upload an image from fleets 270 let's make this and this one <coughs> okay and then we get the text there we go so now so now you know how to create <clears throat> an email and add it to your list right so we're add an email I guess I got another typo here so this this email was about creating fleets what are fleets in Twitter right the Twitter fleets and there we go let's copy this that over here there we go right here go there and that's it so there we go so now this one here is going to be scheduled for again it's the same thing I set it up so I put it in my Facebook page on here and then over here I go include all lists and I select the Seinfeld tag now I'm going to show you this is the third one the last one I do right now so I'm going to show you how the Seinfeld tag works how you apply it and how you get to make sure that only people that have been in, indoctrinated will have that in your list right <clears throat> Eastern. there we go apply 730 okay and then open that's interesting blog.twitter oh okay clicked video I'm not going to bother with this one because it's a special and there we go okay so now I got those scheduled for <clears throat> tomorrow as well okay so now how does that work how do you get those uh those subscribers if I go to subscribers right here right and I see my list of subscribers on this particular list where I have uh does it say the number well it just says 46 right here <clears throat> but if I go to say my introduction list I will see all subscribers I'm unsubscribed people too if I just say currently subscribed right it shows me the list of people that are currently subscribed 405 people in this list <clears throat> and their names and emails sorry uh don't don't go steal these emails but if I go here I can actually say you see right here there's a Seinfeld tag so I can click on that and I can actually see how many people are have my son felt 676 have the tag even though some are unsubscribed right um, but the thing is that what you can do is if I go to um you know added in the last year or low engagement anyways a whole bunch of searches you can do but if I want to add a tag to people I can go like this I can just say okay I want to search for let's say um let's say let's say high engagement how many do I have in here so 69 high engagement right so not a lot of people but still that those are people that are actually active that are actually opening my emails that are maybe replying things like that right <coughs> uh date added mm, okay since anyway okay anyways so if I if I want to add a tag I can actually do my own search let's just uh, cancel all this and let's say any opens let's say let's yeah let's say people who opened my emails right I'm gonna say they opened my emails um in the last three months let's say September 1st right so these are people that opened my emails right all these people that open my emails and I want to also say and are currently subscribed right so 
uh, additional note last message stop status is subscribed so only people that are subscribed that open my emails now I can apply a tag to all these people I can just say uh, where is it action oops I gotta select them all and then I say action tag I want to add sign failed tag if I want right or I uh, want to add um opens opens in in the last whoops in last well last three months okay so that lets me add a tag right I can do this <coughs> select all oh I should have done select all actually select all right here right I forgot I should have done that tag opens in the last two months well it's actually three months anyways it doesn't really matter that was just an idea to give you an idea so now I can do a search by tag right I can do a search by tag I can go over here just delete all this and I can just do a tag raise the tag tag is up here is opened opens doesn't it oh it doesn't give me the option eh? oh opens in the last two months is that what I called it I think so do a search there you go so now now I've got a search for a particular tag now I could rerun this regularly to kind of tag people who've opened it and untag people who haven't things like that but that's a separate issue that's just manual tagging I can actually go and then I can save this as a segment opened in whoops in the last two months right so that would be that would be the the segment then then once I have the segment right once I've created my segment then you notice when I said broadcast there was an option for segment segment that was the segment I was choosing I can save this as a segment so I can just say tagged opened in the last two months because I want it to, to be clear that it's tagged because you can actually have a segment that is <clears throat> I don't know why he's doing that for okay show all let's just go like this stop status is subscribed and um let's say oh last opened where is that date date confirmed where is the opened any opens since let's say well that's the thing is hmm there must be a, is there a way to say not since before I want to be able to I don't know if there's a way to tell um you know opens in a certain number of days I'd have to look that up but Uh, no okay anyways uh <clears throat> I'm just gonna put I can put September 1st right so then then I can save this as a segment say opened uh after September 1st right 2020 just because it's a specific date I I would rather have a certain number of days but anyways maybe there's a way I, but the point is that now I've created these two segments and when I go to my email messages right I want to go in in my messages uh let's chat this is important I don't know what that is but let's just just for the fun of it schedule a broadcast when I go here right I can say uh that's not what I want to do cancel it's the actual list who to send to say include our list and then over here you're going to see now there's these new tags tagged opened can you see that that's kind of behind my camera right let's just move my camera up here so you can see right here that in the list right now there's uh added in past 30 days there's a click since there's no opens there's open seo no open since uh, and then this the last two I just added opened after September 1st 2020 or tagged open in the last two months right so that means that I could send to those those people right okay so now how do I automatically add people to my segment that I want to use as a like me I call it Seinfeld right so how do I add people to that and uh and how how am I doing it how can you do it right so this is maybe this is why you uh came to see this video because you wanted to see how to do that so me what I do <clears throat> is whenever they get 
let's see let's look at the follow-up series here so these people are getting these emails right and this is not a campaign but if I use a campaign I can then tag somebody after they've seen my emails that's how I do it so this one I haven't done it here but let's go to my simple let's go to say the 12 step uh to online success right here right so this one here is a campaign right it says your follow-up is managed by campaigns so you got to go to the campaign screen right so under here campaigns so now in here when I look at the campaign which is the one that's active so this one here is whenever there's a new subscriber added to my to this list or <coughs> whenever they get added they get this first email sent to them right if I can go I can actually go to this <coughs> you see the sequence that's here right here's the 12 critical steps to your online success after they receive this actually there should be a uh, there should be a wait of a day I want to wait a day before I apply the Seinfeld tag that means they get this email and then they get uh they get the uh this tag applied to them right so this sub to intro is something I was trying that does, actually doesn't work but it applies a Seinfeld tag to somebody after a day that they've received this I'm just going to save this <clears throat> and I want to show you the other one if I go back if I go to my a the, the two day the two hour work day where is that t t two hour work day uh oh it's the isn't it the two hour work day right there so that one there which is more recent uh, campaign that I did I've got a campaign right here which sends them all these messages right so the welcome is when they're newly subscribed right they get this they get these emails let's just go look into it <clears throat> so they get this email first they first of all they get this 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 welcome email right so preview <clears throat> so they get this welcome email right here's the bonus I promise you'll be given a link with a with a bonus of a of a training that they can go look at right then I remove all these tags right away so these tags I'm removing these because I want if somebody is already subscribed to my list and they go and register again I want to clear out some of these things that they've already had right <clears throat> then I wait a day and then I send them this message which is the next bonus right welcome to the two hour you can go check that and whatever right? it's an email with another training that I give them for free right and then I wait an another day right here then I send them a third email so that means they get three emails right before I apply the Seinfeld tag that means they get three emails three different days and they're being indoctrinated they get they're getting to know kind of what I'm about and whether they're interested in sticking around right they might unsubscribe they don't like it that's okay I, I want people who who like me to stay on my list right if they don't like me they can they don't it's okay if you don't like me you can certainly unsubscribe you can you can stop following me all that stuff that's all great because the point is and people that follow you you want them to like you there's no point in having somebody follow you who doesn't like you they're just gonna post negative stuff and they're, they're going to complain and they're going to they're going to you know whatever you don't want that right so it's okay that somebody doesn't like you and that they leave your list that's what you want <coughs> I'm sorry so anyways that's the thing so after the three days I apply the Seinfeld tag to the person to the subscriber so that means that once they've gone through the first three emails now they'll start getting my broadcasts the other ones that I we just put together Oof, okay well so that's how that's how you do it that's how you get people to subscribe to your list that's how you get people to be added to your list how you do campaigns how do you do tags how do you set up uh, uh um what's what's it called segments and then how you get people added automatically to your broadcast list that go only to those who have been indoctrinated big words but that's how you do it if you're trying to build a list and you want to make sure that people get emails only once they've gotten to know you all right hopefully this helped and if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.